Motor Spirit is on the Monterey Peninsula for the Continental Monterey Grand Prix at Laguna Seca. There's a lot of racing this weekend, including the Lamborghini Blanc Punk Super Trofeo Series. It's where they race Lamborghini Huracans. A production Huracan is over $200,000, so this is rarefied racing. The series is part of a trend towards single make races. The Ferrari Challenge, Trofeo Maserati, and of course, the many variations of Porsche only races. The Lamborghini series is appealing to the gentleman driver and the aspiring driver looking to reach the professional ranks. It is a support race to the professional WeatherTech series with the big boys like the Corvette prototypes and the factory GT programs like from Ford, Corvette, BMW, and Porsche. The tradition of the gentleman driver goes back to the beginning of motorsports. Aristocrats racing with the bravado of World War I pilots in the 1920s and 30s like the Englishman Richard Seaman in the 1930s. He came from a wealthy family and finagled his mother to finance his buying racing cars and his racing. He caught the eye of Alfred Neubauer of Mercedes-Benz and became a Mercedes team driver. He won the 1938 German Grand Prix and he lived a life Hollywood should do a movie about. America has had its sportsman racers. After World War II, Briggs Cunningham, Jim Kimberly of the Kleenex Fortune, Augie Pabst of the Brewing Family, and Lance Reventlau of Revlon. There's a lot of money in lipstick. The paddock on Friday was bustling. But with the Mazda and Porsche teams leaving after the races on Saturday, Sunday was quiet. It's amazing, though, how photogenic wheels and tires can be. IMSA is interested in attracting global racing classes. Their prototypes are all but irrelevant. It is the GTLM cars that are interesting and transferable internationally, like the Corvettes. They've been to Le Mans and won. Volkswagen Group has a unique corner on the supercar market. Lamborghini is positioned as uncompromising, extreme, Italian. Above it is Bugatti and below is Porsche, positioning the future based on the past. Audi R8 has Lambo elements, but is a model, not a brand. Lamborghini pricing borders on the ridiculous and appeals to a certain nouveau riche sensibility. Racing them, though, is an exclusive club. The Lamborghini Blancpain series runs in North America, and there are groups in Europe and Asia, culminating in a world championship to be run in Valencia, Spain. The series runs modified 5.2 liter V10 Huracans, and there are differences from the production car. Aerodynamics by Delara in the lower front air dam, cooling ducts in the front, 
front wheel venting, and different cooling ducts by the rear wheel, and a giant wing. Sequential gearbox, traction control, and 600 horsepower, aluminum carbon fiber chassis. Speeds can be competitive to the prototypes and get the inexperienced into trouble. Congratulations, gentlemen. And you Lamborghini senior management were on hand, led by ex-Ferrari executive and now Lamborghini CEO Stefan Domenicali.